Yo, what's up, YouTube man? It's your boy Squad Van. We are back with some more NFL talk, all right? But first, before we get into this Green Bay Packers and Eagles game, please hit that like button, hit that sub button. Also, join the Telegram. The link is in the description, all right? But let's go ahead and get into some of these thoughts that I think, all right? All right, so we got the Packers versus Philadelphia. I mean, personally, as a Cowboys fan, this is a game that I would despise. It's going to be a great game, though. You know what I mean? It's going to be a really, really good game, okay? Both teams are good. I mean, Green Bay, they're young and talented. Philadelphia, they're young and talented as well. But in my eyes, they are literally still frauds, bro. They, they've they been frauds. They was frauds all last season. They literally, honestly, we're not even putting last season into the equation. But I want y'all to know, at the end of the year, Starting December 3rd, them boys won one game out of seven. And that was against the the, uh, the Giants. And then they went around and lost to the Cardinals, the Giants, and then the Bucks in the playoffs. They fell apart. So they haven't covered a spread since last year. They haven't covered a spread since November 20th, 2023 against the Chiefs. So me personally... A lot of people are riking with Philadelphia minus two and a half. I don't think Green Bay is going to go out. I don't think Green Bay is, you know, just going to lay down for Philadelphia. Not only that, they're playing, they're playing away as well. Well, they're playing overseas somewhere like Mexico or something. I, I forgot. But they're, they're not. No one's at home. No one's away, you know. But no one has an advantage. But... I love Green Bay in this situation. Uh, I feel like they're the better team, even though Philadelphia did get a lot of pieces on O. I feel like they still got some missing pieces, okay? But I like Green Bay plus two and a half. I feel like Philadelphia still got a little bit of figuring out to do, uh, as well as some props that I do love. Uh, I love Jordan Love prop and um, Jalen Hurts props as well. They're uh, passing yards. So right now, Jalen Hurts passing yard, his line is at 237.5. Jordan Love's is at 256.5. I love both of them to go over. Uh, I feel like it's going to be a really good passing game, you know. So really love the under in this game as well. Uh, don't think it'll be anything like super crazy, you know what I mean. The, the over and under is at uh, 49.5. I mean... If they're gonna sh if they're gonna have a shootout, it'll definitely go over. Twenty five apiece don't sound too hard, but it's a really good game, so we really don't know what could happen. But those are the picks that I love for this game. Uh, I'm not gonna go too crazy. Uh, I'm gonna go crazy on Sunday, okay? So be on the lookout for that video, okay? But other than that, we got Green Bay plus two and a half and. You can do Green Bay plus two and a half and parlay it with uh, Jordan Love over passing yards. Or you can do Philadelphia minus two and a half paired with Jalen Hurts passing yards. But I most definitely would take one of those passing yards to go over. Um, but other than that, bet safely, tail fade, do what you want to do. But do it res everything responsibly, okay? If you don't got the money to bet, don't bet it, all right? But other than that, that's all I got for this game. Uh, not too much, like I said. Going to be a really good game. Hope y'all enjoy the game as well. But other than that, hit that like button. Hit that sub button. Your boy Suave is out. Peace.